Alrighty, so I was at the park today, obviously from this footage, um, and uh, not too much has been going on, but there is a lot to showcase about what's about to happen. So it is still an interesting update. So if you can't tell from the screen right here, um, you can tell that the Immelman loop has arrived. So the actual crest leading up, so the part that remains kind of like curved without curving out of the Immelman has arrived. Those are those pieces right on the screen right there. And then the parts that are just a little more off to the um, east of these parts are the, the curve out that heads into the zero G roll. So all the supports are here. The uh, Immelman loop is here and it looks like a little bit of the parts heading into the zero G are here. So um, once we get to the actual construction site, like we did right now, you'll see that the footings for the zero G, like heading out into the zero G are poured. In fact, I actually think the zero G does take slightly, place slightly over vortex, are all poured, poured. So now they have the footings done all the way up to where it'll head towards the vertical loop. This is great. So um, the footings are just going to cure, depending on what type of concrete they used. It can take a week. It can take 28 days max. The average cure um, time, though, from the start of the project was 28 days. But we don't know what kind of concrete they're using. So with the, the project um, going full force now, they might be using a uh, more expensive concrete that'll cure faster for the footings. So... Um, for those that don't know, they're already done the track in the tunnel. They're done about 90% of the drop. They're about done about 85% of the lift hill. And you're about to see all that completed in the week coming. Everything you'll see in just a sec is ready to go, which is phenomenal. So as you can see this area, they're all done there. And basically what I was just talking about, they're getting set up. So the crane is still being built. So the heavy duty second crane is still being constructed. So that'll probably be finished on Monday. Um, and then, you know, Monday afternoon and Tuesday, they'll lift the remaining pieces. So right here is the last piece of the lift hill. So this is the part that goes from, you know, that last angle of the lift into the straight section. And then the lift will let go of you. You'll hit a block break, a small little block break. You'll turn over column seven. And um, I'm going to have some examples on the screen with the blueprint showing you exactly what I'm talking about. And then you'll curve towards the drop and then uh, you'll hit another block break, I believe, or drive tire, whatever it is. I'll have to watch the animation again. I'll have that up there for you so you can see as well. And then you'll be held over the drop where you'll then drop down this section of the track, um, which, by the way, is very large in person. So um, I got some awesome shots. So as you can see here, Ken is Wonderland is preparing for your future enjoyment. And it's truly exciting to see how many people are super curious about this project now. Lots of people are looking. I mean, how can you miss it? There's like a 90 degree. Um, what looks like a stick when you're on the outside of the park, it literally looks like a, a stick, a, a, like a peg sticking up in the air. But when you're in person, it's massive. It's truly impressive. And this thing is about to be topped off. Um, so... As you can see, uh, so you have the pre-drop there. So that's the part that'll hold you over and drop you. You have the fit t rest of the lift hill just off to the left there next to the heavy duty crane. Um, you have the drop here. And then over behind the drop are column seven. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure if it's column seven yet, but you have the uh, A-frame or V-frame, whatever it ends up being. It's hard to tell because on the blueprints, it's kind of blocked off a bit. But you have the pillars for that's definitely the A-frame because column seven is super, super thick. Um, that's the A or V frame, whatever it ends up being off there. So they'll put in two sections. So off to the right there, you just saw that one pole. There'll be two of those. They'll form the base of the V frame. And then that little V frame that you saw completed will go on top. Um, so that looks like they'll be installing that V frame separately where the other one, because it was smaller, it was installed all at once. So that'll probably be going up Monday, and then, um, you know, the that's for the drop. The V-frame will be connected to the pre-drop and drop area. The pre-drop is what I believe goes in last. So that is the heaviest section to lift, from my understanding. It's the largest section. It's either that or the end of the lift hill there. 
Um, I'll actually be able to tell when I have a second glance at the blueprints. It kind of shows you how long each segment is. But um, essentially, it, the remaining pieces for the lift hill are the heaviest parts of the actual coaster. Um, so that will be truly amazing to watch. Um, and that'll be exciting, too. So hopefully I'll get that on my drone footage. I'm pretty sure I will. Um, I'll be looking forward to that next week. But this thing looks truly amazing from every angle. So here's a better angle of that, um, the remainder of the lift hill that's about to go in. So this will go in and it'll connect to column seven. So you'll see column seven go up and then they'll, they'll kind of have to lift everything all at once. So I actually believe this is the heaviest piece that they're going to have to lift into place because it's also going to be connected to something else so it can reach column seven. Because again, B&M's and other modern coaster designs use minimal supports because the coaster can genu genuinely generally support itself genuinely generally support itself um using a lot of the newer designs especially in the lift hill that you see here when it connects down into the ground and the drop how it kind of supports itself too especially on a dive coaster with that vertical drop um and those v-frames add a lot of extra support as well so you're going to see a lot going on over the next week so a lot of you have been asking where have your construction updates been and it's just been there hasn't been much to film so next week, there will be a lot of construction updates because there's going to be a lot going on. Um, but yeah, I'll get to those juicy details a little later. Um, and then we'll have a surprise for you guys as well. Um, so uh, nothing too exciting going on in this area. A little more tree removal, I guess, deciding last minute trees. Um, the, the lift hill, same thing. The electrical work just off to the right of the lift. Still same state. The staircase done again. Um, and then obviously you have the funicular. I think I said it right this time. Yay. Funicular, uh, the a little elevator system that goes up the, um, the left side of the lift hill. That is, uh, a little more completed than last time as well, I believe. So the lift hill is definitely looking really good. And I always forget how like wide B&M dive coaster lift hills are with all those parts on it. You have the staircase, the electrical, the staircase, um, and then you have the funicular, so that, it's really impressive how large this thing is in person. You can see it from every angle. In fact, a really great angle to film this ride at is definitely over in Backlot Coaster area. Go, go check that. You can get some really awesome shots of this coaster from over there. So what you're about to see are the, um, the steel piles. So the steel piles, um, I said before, you know, not a lot of work looked like it was getting done in that area. And then out of nowhere, bam. So uh, it looks like they're kicking that off. Not too many pieces left to install. The area is definitely looking very bare. Um, but if you look closely, they actually didn't remove the brickwork. So the brickwork is still there for the path, which is interesting because I thought they just would have ripped it up and laid down all new brick. So I find that a little interesting. Um, who knows what's going to go on with that? I, I just would assume because they also have orange markings on the fence off to the right there, as you just saw. And then you'll also notice that the Timberwolf queue line has also been somewhat ripped up. So that's going to obviously receive a new queue line as well. And then I didn't realize how far back the vertical loop was on this coaster. A lot of people didn't believe me early on in the season um, when I was telling them the coaster was going to head on over here. A lot of people didn't believe me. Um, there were a lot of, you know, other YouTube channels and uh, Wonderland fan sites that did not think the coaster was going to head over here. And then they also didn't think it was going to head over this far. But I actually think it's going to head over even farther than we originally thought because the vertical loop where I'm standing filming right now is where the dryer is. So, you know, if for anyone who knows the park, there's those dryers just outside of Timberwolf Falls. I'm standing there filming and look how close that vertical loop is to me. And we know there's that little runway and then pop into the, ret the return implement and then it heads on over Vortex over there, which you see the, the pathway for Timberwolf ripped up. So see how it just ends right there and they got the orange markings on the lamppost. So it's very interesting to see what's gonna go on in this area because I didn't think that the vertical loop would be this pushed back unless it's just looking a little weird to me right now. But regardless, it's still awesome that, you know, I was right. The coaster headed this far um, and it definitely took up this area. Um, there were definitely signs that pointed towards that. But yeah, the area is definitely looking really cool. So here's another angle of the steel piles, which will house the vertical loop and the little runway. And uh, that's off to a start. And then I believe they've been actually starting to dig the footings over off there just behind that red generator machine um, right there. Regardless, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this construction update. There will definitely be a lot more to film um, 
next week. Um, and I just thought this was an awesome shot. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks for watching my construction updates, guys. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. And as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.